Hi, welcome to my channel, The Magic of Math. Today, I'm happy you're joining me. We're going to talk about angles of triangles. And we're going to be looking at exterior angles and reviewing the sum of the interior angles. So let's get started. Today, I hope that you will understand that the sum of the interior angle measures of a triangle is 180 degrees and that you can find the measures of interior and exterior angles of triangles. So what I want you thinking about today as we go through this is how could you describe the relationships between interior and exterior angles of a triangle? So I'm going to prove a couple of theorems to you today, and I hope that this will help you be able to discern between interior and exterior angles and how to find their measures. So here we go. Here we have a triangle and we have three angles, one, two, three. Those are all inside the triangle, so we call those interior angle measures. So the sum of these three interior angle measures, angle one plus angle two plus angle three, is always 180 degrees. It doesn't matter how large or how small your triangle is. It could fit in the palm of your hand or it could be something that is so large it's are built around a building. It doesn't matter what the side lengths all are, but the three angles of a triangle will always have a sum of 180 degrees. So now we're going to use this to, I'm going to prove it to you first. So we know that a straight line is 180 degrees. It's a supplementary, when we put two angles here, it would be supplementary, but it's also 180 degrees if I measured this with a protractor. So I physically, with my computer, with technology, cut out all of these. Imagine this on a piece of paper and ripping all these angles off. I ripped off the point of that triangle to have angle one and angle two and angle three, and I'm going to quote unquote paste it to my line. So here's angle one, here's angle two, and here's angle three. Notice when I take those angles all off the triangle and put them all together, matching up their vertices together, they form a 180 degree angle. Now this would work if you used paper and it would work for any triangle. So now I'd like to show you how to use this theorem to find a missing angle of a triangle. So since we know that the three angles have to have a sum of 180 degrees, I can use this to write an equation. So x plus 62 plus 74 in any order, the order doesn't matter, will have a sum of 180 degrees. So we're going to combine like terms, 62 plus 74 is 136. And to solve for x, we're going to do the inverse of add 136 and subtract 136 from both sides, giving me the answer that x is equal to 44. So this third missing angle measurement of this triangle is 44 degrees. So your turn. I would like you to write an equation to find the value of x. So I'm not asking you to find an angle measure. I'm asking you to find the value of the x which is involved in both of those angles. So go ahead and see if you can write an equation and solve it for x and come back and hit play when you're ready. Welcome back. Let's see how you did. That one was tricky. So here we go. Our three angle measures. I hope you didn't forget this one. That's a 90 degree angle. So our first angle, x plus 26, plus our second angle, x, and our third angle, 90. So we're going to combine like terms. x plus x is 2x, and 26 plus 90 is 116. I'm going to isolate the variable term by subtracting 116 from both sides and leaving me 2x equals 64. Divide both sides by 2, and x is equal to 32. So the value of x is 32. So this angle would have a 32 degrees, and this angle right here would be 58 degrees. And 58 plus 32 plus 90 is 180 degrees, so it checks. So here's another theorem for you today, and it's um, how we find the exterior measure of angle four, okay? So the measure of an exterior angle of a triangle 
is equal to the sum of the two non-adjacent interior angles. So if I look at these, these are supplementary angles right here, and they're adjacent because they share this side. So think of adjacent as like adjoining hotel rooms. They share a wall. Adjacent angles share a side. The two non-adjacent angles to angle four are angles one and two because they're not touching angle four. And I'm going to prove to you why angles one and two added together equal four. So in previously, I showed you the angle sums all together. Angles one, two, three form a 180 degree straight angle when all put together. So if I now take angle four, it should replace angles one and two. And it does perfectly. OK, and if you did this with paper and cut this out, it would work. Now, let's talk about this for a minute. It makes sense because if angles one, two and three equal 180 and angles three and four equal 180, then that makes sense that angle four is taking the place of angles one and two. So think about it. If I go back, here's my angles one and two. Right. If I take those away, it's four. So hopefully this visual proof will help you understand and not forget this theorem. So let's go ahead and use this. So now we want to find this measure of X and I know that it's equal to the two non adjacent angles. So remember, this is adjacent to this, this exterior angle. These are the two non adjacent angles. So if I add them up, 35 plus 73 is 108. So this is 108 degrees. Your turn. I would like you to pause, write an equation, and solve to find the measure of the exterior angle. Welcome back. Let's see how you did. So I know that 2x plus 80, the sum of these two angles, is going to be equal to x plus 95. Now, if your equation is x plus 95 equals 2x plus 80, they're the same thing. So I'm going to collect variable terms first by doing the inverse and subtracting x from both sides. This will give me x plus 80 equals 95. And now I'm going to collect constant terms to the right by subtracting 80 from both sides, giving me an answer of x equals 15. But I'm not done yet because I asked you to find the exterior angle measure. So now I have to go back up to the angle, which is x plus 95. And I replace x with 15, and 15 plus 95 is 110. So the exterior angle here is 110. So that's my lesson today on the sum of angle measures and the exterior angle, finding an exterior angle of a triangle. I hope you enjoyed my lesson and found it helpful and useful, and that you'll subscribe to my channel.